When you combine pinch pots, you can come up with endless possibilities for unique forms. There are all sorts of ways you can combine two pinch pots. Just try to fit them together in different ways and see what you can come up with. In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to combine two pinch pots rim to rim to create an egg shape. The first thing you need to do is make sure that they fit together the way that you want them arranged. The next thing you need to do is score them really, really well. When you slip and score leather hard clay, you need to make sure that your score marks are really close together and really deep. It's also important to compress your clay really well when you are combining two leather hard pieces. When your clay is leather hard, it's less malleable. So when you're combining two leather hard pieces, it's a lot harder to blend them together if the clay won't move. That's why scoring and compression is really important when combining leather hard pieces. Slip is also important, of course, when combining two leather hard pieces. The slip will help your clay to become a little more moist in order to fully integrate with the other side of the pinch pot that you are attaching. Make sure that you always score both objects that you're combining together, but only slip one. What I mean when I say compression is important is simply to put pressure onto the clay, to press into the clay. Um, pushing one side into the other side, one section by one section at a time, will really help those two pieces to come together and never come apart again. Another thing that you ought to do when scoring two leather hard pieces is to score the crack between the two pieces there should be enough slip left on the surface, but you can add a little bit more if you need to. Then you should roll out a coil of clay, very small, and add to the crack. Then you can blend that in for a more seamless integration of the two objects. When choosing a tool for blending, you wanna think about how hard your clay is. If your clay is already leather hard, you also wanna choose a tool that's hard, such as a wooden tool to do your blending. When you're blending out a coil, you will get extra clay on your tool and have to wipe it off occasionally. This process of scoring well, slipping, compressing, then adding a coil and compressing again is really important anytime you're attaching two pieces of clay together that are leather hard, especially two pinch pots. Something to consider if you close up two pinch pots to leave air and moisture inside is that you may wanna make a little hole in the bottom or somewhere inconspicuous in order for moisture to escape quickly when your project is in the kiln. This can help prevent it from exploding.